today we're making an Indiana Jones cosplay. So I've been an Indiana Jones fan since I can remember. My first movie I ever watched was Raiders of the Lost Ark and I made several props throughout the movies like the Golden Monkey Head which is on my channel. The Holy Grail. And of course I made this in the last video but it's Indy's model Webley revolver. And some of my first ever memories are me at the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. So with that, let's just get right into the video. Let's go. To start with Indiana Jones' jacket, we're gonna start with the back. So here are the main four pieces that make it up. So I'm gonna start sewing some hems and sewing them together. So right here, I'm adding a hem to all the four pieces of the jacket. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it over, then I'm sewing it down just to give it a nice clean look. So after I'm done doing this for all four pieces, I'm going to start sewing the back together. So I'm sewing the upper to the lower part of the back, and then I will be sewing on the sides right here, just sewing them all together to attach them, and then we can start working on the front. Okay guys, so this is the back all done. Now it's time to do the front. So this is what the front looks like. The front is just two big pieces of leather that all we're gonna do is add a hem there and then just sew it onto the back. So let's go. So I took a video instead of time lapsing, but here I'm just adding a hem at the front. Then after this, I sew the sides together. So the side of the front and the back, then I sew the shoulder, shoulder seams together. Okay guys, so now I have the front of Indy's jacket all done. Now it's time to work on the sleeves. So this is what one of the sleeve pieces looks like. And this is what it looks like all sewn up. So let's sew it all up. Then we're gonna sew it onto the main jacket. Let's go. So first I'm just adding a line right down the middle of the sleeve. Then I'm putting it into the actual jacket. This is the hardest part. I don't know how to explain it. So I would just say, watch some videos if you wanna figure out how to put the sleeve in cause it is very complicated. Now that the jacket's done, it's time to start adding details. So this is what one of the pockets looks like. And then this is what it looks like breaking down. So my plan is to make these actually not be able to open anymore. It doesn't work how I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna show you how to make a closed pocket. Let's go. So I start by sewing the two pieces of the top together. And then after this, I sew the actual pocket onto the jacket. Then I put the top lid or whatever it is, the, the flap right on top of the jacket as well so here i am sewing the pocket into the actual jacket so now that the jacket's done it's time to weather so for that i'm going to be using some gold paint some brown paint and of course a brush so I'm just adding some gold paint just to give it a weathered look. I also added a little bit of tan just to give it a worn lived in feeling and it turned out really well. Okay, so now with the jacket done, it's time to move on to the holster. So these are all four pieces we need for it. So now it's time to sew everything together. So for the holster, it's very easy. I start by sewing the thing that actually closes the holster on followed by the belt loop. And then I put on another piece of leather just to make it look like a nice completed piece. So when you open it up, it looks all professional. Then right after it, I put the two halves together and then I close it up right down the middle. And that's it for the holster. Okay, guys. So right now we have the holster done. Now it's time to work on the satchel. So here are all the main pieces to make up the body. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this all together. So instead of sewing, I decided to use hot glue just to show you that you don't need to sew every piece of this costume. So I'm just adding all the pieces together and then I'm adding some leather pieces behind it just to give it some extra strength. So I start by gluing the front to the back, then I glue the sides on and then I'm just closing it all up and using some clips to help it close along the way. Okay, so right now the bag, the base of the bag is all done. So I have one of the details here, and that's what it looks like. That's gonna add the strap. 
and this is what that looks like so there's that piece there and that ring then we have these magnets two of which i painted gold which is gonna how the bag closes so let's go and glue everything together so for the detail pieces i start by creating a hem then i add the actual buckle inside and then i'm gluing it onto the satchel then i'm gluing on the magnets and making sure stuff can fit inside and it works then after that i add the strap and that's it for the satchel moving on to the whip i've had this costume whip i've got a while ago and it is not good then i have this whip i made which again does not look good so i ordered one and what would you know after i open this up it turns out this whip is terrible so i returned it and got another one here is the new whip and it definitely is 10 times better so right now we're going to work on indiana jones's hat so this is the hat i've had i had this for a long time all i did was make a new ribbon a while ago right now we're going to weather it with some brown paint an old brush and a lot of photos so here i am painting the hat with some tan paint and it's turning out really well and then this is the last piece of the costume i'm making the other two pieces are the shirt and the pants which i purchased online and that is it for the indiana jones cosplay And that's how I made my Indiana Jones cosplay. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure you subscribe and like the video so you won't miss what's coming up next. I have a lot of stuff planned. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.